One of the things as a child that I, I, I remember, and my brother remembers really well too, we, talked, we used to talk about it, and when we both believed always in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. I never lost that, and I always had that. And one of the things that we used to do, we used to ask each other, with bodybuilding, you are what you eat, become what you eat. When we would receive the Eucharist, we used to wonder why we weren't turning into little Jesus. Because we knew what we were receiving and we never doubted it, either of us. And we were kind of, we used to always wait and we thought that we we're going to see a physical change in each other. Like we were, th- we're going to start to look like Jesus if we continue to consume him, right? Because you become what you eat. And as an athlete, that's what I learned. I've always believed in the Eucharist. I never doubted the Eucharist. I've always known. When I danced around at different churches, the one thing that I always missed was the Eucharist. Um, when I would come back into, the, into a Catholic church and go to Mass, the reverence and awe that I've always had of the Eucharist has always been there. And it's the driving force that really did bring me back into the church. If we trust Christ's own words, he says four times in John 6, this is my real blood and body. And if we're going to trust anything in life, Trust Christ himself, his own words. If we can't trust that, you can't trust anything. So please come back into the church. I'm alive and well by his grace, and I'm living better than I ever thought that I could. Sometimes I I think if we asked 100 people, what's your goal in life? We'd hear happy and peace. Happiness and peace only come from one place from a relationship with Christ. We try to fill our God hole with money, with cars, with houses, with sex, with women, right? I did all that stuff. And I kept going on to what's next, what's next, what's next. And until I finally began to understand Christ in the Eucharist, I searched. The search is over. I have complete peace and forget happiness. That's temporary. You can eat a Sunday and become happy from it, right? I have joy. Joy is in the Lord, and the Eucharist is the Lord. So if you can receive Christ, at least weekly, daily, hopefully, you'll have joy all day long and all the time for the rest of your life. What's better than that? That's what we all want in our lives. To not come home and receive Christ in the Eucharist, the only person you're hurting is yourself.